It's time for another episode of the Tap Room Safari. And today we're going to find out what Lisbon has to offer. Inside the of the other imperial stars that we usually try to. Turn out they had a white star, but unfortunately they have run out of it. It's a good start. It's refreshing, it's one of those stars you can drink a lot of. Because it's more equivalent to a pinus normal. But it's not that strong in alcohol. The ABV is way lower than an imperial star. I think it's about six, six points. Something it's a, it's a decent style, but not what I'm looking for in an imperial style. It's kind of unfair to judge it, but I would say it's a 2 point You can actually taste the coffee. If you add some ice cubes, you can have it like ice coffee. But it's still a little watery, as if the ice cubes has melted. To be fair, it's not an imperial style, you can't compare it. I could only rate it as 2.7 as well. It's a small venue and they have just a couple of tables inside. It's a really nice place, I like it. Especially since they have a couple of tables outside as well. In this really nice alleyway with a lot of other restaurants. So the atmosphere is great. So I would rate the venue as 3.4. It's a great place in autumn and winter. You want to pop in for a beer? This will be great. Great place for that. I, I would say the same. 3.4. The staff, I didn't have too much interaction with them, but they seemed very friendly, very helpful, so I give them a few. I was overhearing the guy in the, the bar when I was waiting for the tasting treat, and he seemed very knowledgeable about beers, and he has a great interest, and that will put up the grade. So I would give them a 3.5. Like to have 
three small beers. One IPA, one sour, and one Imperial Stout if you have it. We don't have an Imperial Stout, and number have the sour only. It's a Belgian sour. This has to be one of the more unusual tables or views we've had when we've done a taproom safari. Record store down there. They didn't have a stout, imperial stout, and no sour. So we let the bartender choose IPA, the Delirium Tremens, and a Glorious Creek, starting with the IPA. I really like the scent of the IPA. I would say it's a pretty standard IPA actually. And to me, it's a really good IPA because it's thick, there's a lot of honey to it, but it's not too sweet. It's good, it's uh, very bitter, not a lot of fruit flavor to it. I will give it a 3.2. I'm gonna say 2.9. Blonde likes the blonde. This is good. It's close to wheat beer. I really like this one. Perfect on a warm day like this. It's not too heavy. Still, there's a lot of flavor. Very thin, but very good. It's a three to me. I'm gonna say it's a three point two. Sherry is normally not my cup of tea. It's like drinking a popsicle and I really enjoyed it. Surprisingly good. Could be that it's a warm day and it's really refreshing. There's a lot of cherry flavor. It's very light. And the scent is also cherry. I'm gonna say it's a 3.1. I give it a 4.2. It's a big bar and there's a lot of things going on in the interior design. I like that. I like this place. It's big and it has room for everyone. They have a pool table, that's also a plus. So, all in all, it's a pretty cool place. I would give the venue 3.7. I would give it a 3.9. The staff, very friendly and very interested in uh, playing our little game, Taproom Safari. The staff is super friendly, they're really helpful, they're trying their best to assist you in any way possible. I give them a 3.9. I would give them a 4.2. So instead of a sour, we got a, a red ale, the bartender's favorite. And finally, we have the stout. It's not an imperial stout, it's a normal stout. I'm getting flashbacks from Krakow. Rausch beer. Oh, I'm sorry, but it was awful. Oh, it smells like if you drink the water after you cook the sausage in it. Zero to minus. Interesting. I like the scent of passion fruit. I think this is a solid idea. I like the taste of honey. Just like IPAs are meant to be. To me, it's well balanced. It's good. A little light, but still a fresh IPA. It's good. 
I, I'll give it a 3.2. To me, this is a 3.4. I would probably rate it higher if I appreciated this kind of beer. It's not my cup of tea, but it's really good. So if you're into IPAs, you're probably going to love this one. I like red ale. I like that there are a little bit more than just a Pilsner lager that will add something to it. And this to me is a solid, normal, traditional red ale. I will rate it 3.7. This is the bartender's pick. That's what I like about the safaris, because you never know what you're going to get. This is not something that I would order myself, but I have to say I'm really surprised. This is really, really good. I think it's fair to say that it's one of the best red ales that I've ever had. So I haven't had that, but still, it's a really good one. I'm going to rate this high. I'm going to say this is a 3.9. And now for the interesting part. A normal, it's not an imperial stout, it's a stout, but it's not as I consider it a normal stout. Um, it's a rauch beer. You so can, it's smoky. It's very smoky. It's not like a peated smoke, like a barrel aged smoke. It's more like a firewood smoke. Or back to the one in Krakow, it's like sausage. And being a vegetarian, I have a hard time with the sausage smell. It's like smoked sausage. This one, I'm sorry, but to me, 2.2. I'm sorry. I'm not that into the Rauch beer scene. The one in Krakow was that? not good. This one, however, is very different. This has a completely different taste to it, a completely different balance to it when it comes to the flavors in it. I really like this one. Uh -huh. Surprisingly enough, it's probably the best one out of the three. I am going to say this is a four. This is really good. The venue, it's really a beer place. There are beer bottles everywhere, not too many tables. It will make it cozy when you have to move inside because there are a couple of tables outside. I will rate this venue a 3.8. Not that big, which I appreciate. I can really picture the atmosphere here on a busy evening. I'm gonna rate it a 3.9. The staff really tried to help us out on the safari. 3.7. I liked it. It was really helpful, like you said. It was friendly. He tried his best to help us in any way he could. And the selection he made of the amber uh, ale. Excellent. I'm gonna say it's a three-point time. It's a really good place. So if you're into crafted beer and you're in Lisbon, don't miss it.